Hi guys, Baby Nathan here. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Scotch Bright Scrubbing Dishcloth. You're gonna watch me do my dishes. Okay, so here it is, the Scotch Bright Scrubbing Dishcloth. We'll take it out of its package here. It says safe for non-stick cookware, which is perfect because I have a non-stick skillet that I use. And I apologize the noise in the background. That is my washer and dryer. We happen to be doing laundry right now. And I think it's getting a little steamy up in here. You have two sided for cleaning power. The first side has your scrubby material. And the back is just a really, really tough microfiber. And then it rinses clean and dries quickly and you can throw it in the washer and dryer, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and get the camera repositioned so that you can watch me scrub my dishes. And I do have about a sink full here. And I do have a non-stick skillet that's actually on the stove right now because I'm set up on my counter. So I'll be grabbing that and we'll be seeing how it works with the non-stick and if it scratches it. So, all right, I'll see you down in the water. Okay, guys, so here you see I have a sink full of water and a nice little knife sitting here. Here it is. Let's pull the feel the power off sticker. Oh, God. Okay, so the sticker did not peel off cleanly, but we can go ahead and wash the dishes anyway. Get all nice and soaked up there. Now, on all of my dishes, I use um, Dawn Erasing Foam. I have it in the water as well. And you just put a little bit on there. And let's scrub up these plates. Making some quick work of it. So we have a pan here that has some stuck on residue. Ooh. Those work really, really well. That's making super fast work of all this stuck on food. That is awesome. Another pan here with some stuck on. Ooh, it doesn't hold its soap too long there. There's not a lot of stuff with it. Okay, now let's check out this knife. I never put my knives in the water to soak because I'm so afraid of cutting myself. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Non-stick pan. Here is the non-stick pan. We had some spaghettis yesterday. have some stuck on on this pan. It did make 
made super fast work of it though. Look at that. Got it all off. Let's flip to the other side here. Now I can still see the grease on there. So let's go ahead and get some fresh cleaner. This just pulls all that grease right off the pan. Now, I do have an ultimate test for this. This is one of the pans from under my stove. And you can see how just junked up that is. I do wash these out on a regular basis and I actually replace them probably about every six months. But they just go so bad, so fast. And I am using the grippy side, gritty side for this. You can see it's pulling a lot of that crap up. And that is an A plus for me because that looks a hell of a lot better. I know this is still dark. But that is rusted out. These pans actually are getting to the point where they need to be replaced again. All right. So I will see you back up in FaceTime. So that is definitely an A plus for me from the, or for the Scotch Bright scrubbing dishcloth. I am a huge fan of stuff that you can wash and reuse. And I don't have a price, but I will see if I can find it online and throw a link in the description below. I just want to show you what I normally use to do my dishes. These are just regular little cellulose sponges. And the reason I use them is because they're a dollar for like a 24 pack. So it's real cheap and then I use it one time and I dispose of it which I know is a big waste but we cannot stand the smell of like dirty sponges, dirty dishcloths in our house. It is disgusting to us so we prefer to do it this way. The only things that we really reuse are stuff like this which we actually need to get a new one for inside of the big pictures. And then like scrub brushes because we get them really clean between uses. Now these are really old. So they both are getting to the point where they need to get replaced as well. But overall, this thing worked amazingly well. I am glad to have it in my arsenal of cleaning supplies. So I want to thank you guys for watching today. If you enjoyed my channel, please make sure you subscribe as well. If you're a subscriber, click that reminders button so you're notified every time I upload. And go ahead and click that like button. I want to see if we can get this video to a hundred likes. I've never done that before. I'd like to set a new record in the Vape and Nathan crew. Alright. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye now.